Good afternoon, gardening friends. Well, it occurs to me it's time to do another update. This is the hill that I was working on. Um, the city has come by and picked up our big green garbage can, and I've already refilled it. So um, that's just kind of cleaning up just this corner and getting a lot of the debris that was back in here, getting a lot of that out. Um, tossing a bunch of this jade plant which is now getting a good deal of sun and you can kind of see up in there and it looks that much cleaner and I tried kind of trimming this one succulent but I'll come back at that later but that's it for this corner and I'm not sure where I left this corner last time let's see I don't think we have any well we got a bunch of tiny little sprouts in there and I'm not sure what to make of that. I did, I believe this one was, and I need to put the label up. I still haven't done that. But I believe this was the sort of combined lettuce and basil and some old seeds that I had. And looks like they're germinating. Um, I'm trying to get the pea plants to climb. I tried using cable ties to kind of force it up a little bit. Now you can kind of see it's starting to grab on and wrap around. So may, I'm sorry. You can kind of see it grabbing around there. I'm hoping that'll help. You see this cable tie held a little better, but I had to make it kind of tight. So once it really starts kind of supporting itself, I'm going to cut off a cable tie. Um, really the better way to do it would have been to have had the, the stakes in there to begin with. And that's only really providing so much room for, this, for the plant to grow up because the stakes are only so long. So, But if it does work, I'll go get some longer stakes. Um, over here we've got squash, and I'm not seeing any new squash just yet, and that's the one with the mulch, the one without the mulch, I'm not seeing anything in here, maybe if you are, maybe you can send me a message, but, and I don't think I planted anything in here, if there's anything growing in there, I was like, that's just weed grass. There's some random seed over there, so I'm not expecting much here. That's this section. Now, I'm not quite sure where I left off here, but that's kind of what this area is looking like. That wire, if you're wondering, goes up to one of those two solar panels and comes down around the front. And you can see a wire running along with a little Christmas light, kind of, or a fairy light, depending on where you're from. Uh, those are there, and then they come back up, and they're, they're kind of held in by that one stake there. But the idea is just to get some pathway lighting here. And obviously I've got some more plans as far as stepping stones. That's why you see that there. Um, this whole area, I've just kind of been moving things around. I haven't really finalized anything. I have ordered more seeds. So more on that when they arrive. And I'm starting to work over in this area here. That's part of what those stepping stones are for. Ultimately, um, I'm going to put the 8-inch blocks up on the top level there, more of them on the middle level, and then the bigger stepping stones like that one. That already existed. I'm going to put them in here. And the idea is a lot of the pool-related stuff that we've got here, I'm trying to get that... Uh, set up and, and kind of neatened up so it's not taking up quite so much room. So that's kind of where we are on that. The Swiss chard is doing okay. You know, let's see if I can step around some of the objects in my way that you can't see because they're just on the ground. That's basically the stuff that was over there that I'm trying to accommodate is just sitting on the ground. Um, so I have to step around them. Um, I don't believe there's anything really new here, but it's only really been a few days. So, but that should give you an idea of what the garden looks like. That orange one is getting more red, so that's encouraging. And it's probably getting, oh, I can see a weed in there now. <laughs> but it's probably getting a bit more sun in the morning, and that's a good thing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that tomato plant I trimmed way back? Well, it's starting to develop a bunch of 
flowers on it. Uh, I think mainly because I trimmed it back and it kind of put the energy back into the central part of it. And the idea is ultimately we're going to give this back, so maybe we're giving it back with a few flowers and a few future tomatoes. So, okay, well, there you go. That's the first part of it. Yeah, I know the two rows are kind of pitched up at the end, but that's okay. It's not, you know, we're not aiming for perfectly level. They're not set in concrete. Uh, the hill's going to move. We're going to end up readjusting. So I'm not aiming for perfect, and I haven't done the part down below yet. Um, but you can kind of see the one stepping stone in there. I might actually move that more towards the wall and then put the next three going that direction. And that's uh, four feet of it. And those three uh, caps actually are 16 inches each, so that's 48 inches or four feet total. So it's all going to be about that amount, four feet. Um, but that should give us some place to put a few things. So uh, I think I'm going to pick up tomorrow and get the uh, pavers done. So with that, I guess that's the end of this update. This is the Budget Gardener signing off saying, May your thumb be green.